running wild man here. So I just got back from work and I noticed that uh, the male lady dropped something off. So let's go check that out. Yeah, some other mail and bills that I don't care about. Look at this, it says from Fort Nine on it. Nice. Okay, so in the previous video, I mentioned that uh, I got some new stuff to take care of the gearing on the bike. So I picked up a chain. So it's an EK chain. This is a 120, and I'm going to cut it down to 112. And then I have my sprocket. So this is a 47 tooth sprocket. And um, so the two put together should make the gearing on this bike just about perfect. So let's open her up. Oh yeah. Look at that. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a look to see if this is going to work. So take a look here. You have the beveled ones, so you know the ones that are on an angle. But then you have another one here for flat bolts, which is what this bike has. So that's perfect. This is going to be awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and take the wheel off, get this mounted on there, make sure that's all good, and then do the chain. So this isn't a tutorial by any means, but they watch me work a little bit, and uh, let's do this. Oh, okay, so I've had to get my stock toolkit out because I don't actually don't have one of these, which is like a 28. So here it is, and then I'm just going to start banging on this here. Okay, so you get the idea. Okay, so I quickly took the axle out, took the chain off, and the rear sprocket. Or sorry, the rear tire. Hold on a second. Rear tire is out. See that? Easy peasy. Old sprocket. So this rear sprocket is the Bike Master rear sprocket. I know, I know, who's bike master? But uh, I'm on a budget with this bike, budget build with this bike. So, I don't know. For now, I'm sure it'll be fine. Rear tire's back on. I uh, got the sprocket on. And now what I'm going to do is I have this chain breaker. So I'm going to go ahead and break this stock chain and get it off so I can get the new one on. Okay, so I have no idea what I'm doing here. Never used this before, so I think, okay, so I'm pretty sure I need to put this around here, okay, so it's on, so I gotta tighten this up is what my buddy John told me to do, so now I'm turning this, well, something's happening, I'm getting easier to turn, oh, ah, it worked, look at that, chain's off. That worked really well. Thanks, John. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this chain off, and then uh, we'll get the new one on, and we'll start measuring links. I think I want 112 links, but we'll see how that fits. Okay, so new chain is here. So I don't really know what I'm doing here, but I think what I need to do, I know I want about 112 links. Six and a half hours later. Okay, that only took an hour. So, I don't know, I've never done this before. So I was confused about the, um, the amount of lengths. They say 112, so I was confused about which one to break. But I figured it out. Okay, had to pause the camera, because the battery died. But I got it cut, and um, everything is good. Okay, there we go. So that's in. And then I throw these on. Now I have no idea what I'm doing because the clip won't fit on. I think I know what's up. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to shut this off. Because it's going to take a while. Okay, so that took longer than I was expecting. So I got the new master, the new uh, link on through the back. And then I got the master, you know, the clip, and I got the um, the rubber sealant thingies in there. So at this point, we're done. 
and I'm just going to adjust the chain uh, sometime uh, tomorrow. Probably not going to take it for a ride today because I got a couple family things to do. And the hockey game's on tonight. Toronto Maple Leafs playing Boston game seven. So we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, so that's me changing the chain. So on, um, remember I said in the previous video that uh, John and I are going to the Beagle Bash. So we're doing that on Sunday. But Saturday we're going to load up the bike. So maybe I'll make a video and um, uh, hopefully we don't crash the bikes as we load them into the truck. But um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. And, uh, oh man, out.